Hello and welcome back to our Pixelplex channel, where we share insights about trends and technologies. This time, we're going to compare two popular blockchains, Ethereum and Cardano, and find out more about their capabilities and distinctive features. Let's start. You must have heard a lot about Ethereum, one of the oldest and most established blockchain platforms. It serves as a base for multiple decentralized applications and underpins a myriad of NFT-related projects. Ethereum was also the first blockchain to launch the concept of a smart contract into the public arena. Ethereum's core advantages are immutability of recorded data, high level of security, and immunity to hacking. But what about Cardano and does it compete with Ethereum? So, just like Ethereum, Cardano is viewed as a safe and reliable ecosystem for creating decentralized apps. The core cool feature of the platform is the Ouroboros algorithm. It boasts a high level of security that does not require additional protection measures. These days, Cardano is recognized by the expert community as one of the most viable platforms for dApps creation. The key advantages that distinguish the blockchain from its competitors include the presence of regulatory supervision, 100% confidentiality of any activity on the platform, high level of client security due to innovative algorithms, multi-level system and democratic principles of governance, and high speed of transaction confirmation. Now that you know about the capabilities of both Cardano and Ethereum, you might be wondering which one is better. To understand this, let's draw the parallels between the two blockchains. So, the distinctions between Ethereum and Cardano networks consist in their development approach, performance, smart contract functionality, and layers of use. Let's examine each of these aspects in greater detail. First, the platforms differ in their development approach. Ethereum is characterized by rapid implementation of changes. This is because Ethereum's creators spend less time on theory and focused on the development part. This has made the blockchain a pioneer in the niche of smart contracts and the second largest blockchain project in the world by capitalization. With Cardano, however, each component of the architecture is carefully checked and tested by a group of experts, and only then it is implemented. Second, both Cardano and Ethereum have different performance metrics. The two blockchains are based on the proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. However, the number of transactions that each blockchain can execute per second differs. So, the number of transactions that Ethereum can process ranges from 10 to 30, whereas Cardano performs on average 250 transactions per second. Third, the blockchains leverage different languages to enable smart contract functionality. Cardano supports the development and deployment of smart contracts using two programming languages. The first one is Plutus, a purpose-built smart contract development and execution platform. The second option is Marlow, a domain-specific language for writing and executing financial contracts. Ethereum, for its part, leverages Solidity. This is an object-oriented language designed by the Ethereum network team for constructing and designing smart contracts on blockchain platforms. And finally, Ethereum and Cardano have slight differences in their layers of use. Even after its merge, Ethereum has remained a single-layer solution dedicated to managing smart contracts and decentralized apps. Cardano, on the other hand, relies on a dual-layer design that has smart contract functionality and a currency that underpins financial transactions. This implies that Cardano is more functional, while the Ethereum blockchain will be more suitable for mass adoption. Considering all these criteria, let's find out which blockchain, Ethereum or Cardano, is better for the development and deployment of decentralized applications. Let's start with Cardano. Cardano is suitable for fast-growing, mass-use projects such as social networks, hosting projects, and many more. It provides decent levels of scalability and flexibility. If these parameters are crucial for the implementation of your decentralized app, then you may set your sights on the Cardano ecosystem. As for Ethereum, this blockchain is distinguished by its longevity and reliability. 
Currently, it boasts the largest number of DApp deployments, which makes it the most popular platform among developers. A whole community of developers has formed around the Ethereum ecosystem. So if you're interested in an established professional community and the stability of the ecosystem, then you should select Ethereum. Once all the differences and core features of the two blockchains have been addressed, let's answer the most burning question, that is, will Cardano replace Ethereum? At the moment, the answer is no. Ethereum has been and remains a powerful blockchain platform that is enormously popular among developers and businesses. Plus, just like other blockchains, it regularly undergoes improvements and transformations to become more high-performing and developer-friendly. As for Cardano, this blockchain has demonstrated an impressive capacity too, yet it has a long way to go before it knocks Ethereum out of the market. So, what do you think about the two blockchains? Will Cardano be ever able to surpass Ethereum and get ahead of the curve? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video episode. Hit the bell to receive notifications about our new videos and visit our Pixelplex blog where you can find a myriad of useful tech insights. Stay tuned. Bye.